Good afternoon and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews. Going to do another a uh, Wild Horse Brew and Co beer, um, and I'm going to do the Buckskin Lager. Now the ones that you've just seen, you've just seen me do. I pre-recorded um, earlier in the week, so I'm just going to thought I wasn't going to review today, but I'm changing my mind, so I'm going to do this one. So it's Buckskin Lager. It is uh, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? 4.5% ABV. Now these beers, these Wild Horse beers, I think in all the reviews, I said are pleasant, nice beers, no well beaters, but they're good, honest efforts at what at what the at the style of they're supposed to be in. Um, so I've got a load at home in the fridge. Um, I've got another four or five. I've got a couple to do today, and then I've got a couple more that I've just bought out of the which I'll get to possibly a little bit later on. <clears throat> anyway, let's pop a top, let's see what we've got. I don't normally do lagers, if I'm being honest, um, as I'm not that much of a lager fan, but craft lagers I don't mind. So let's get this in a glass and see what we've got. Okay, so we were at last. We've got ourselves a clear gold beer. It looks like a it does look like a really nice lime actually. We've got a finger and a half density compact white head. It's a little bit of a chill haze on the glass. So, you can look that. so, yeah, so it looks okay. It does look good. Let's get a nose and see what we can smell for it. Okay, it smells like a lager. Um, light malt, grainy, light yeasty. It does smell like a, it smells like a really nice lager. Let's go for the party car. Cheers. Light body. It's got a light, a really light, velvety, almost creaminess over it, over the top of it. Uh, Carbonation is quite light as well. Right, let's go for the uh, fill her up and go for the big taste. <coughs> Cheers. <sighs> it is exactly what it is. It tastes like a really well made lager. <coughs> There's some light. Um, Light malts, I say a little bit of grains in, some grains in there. There's a little bit of a sort of a lemony, light lemony hop coming through. I'll tell you something, it's better <coughs> than Carlin. And it's better than Foster's, and it's better than 4X. That's quite nice. That is quite nice. Again, hot day, cold, frosted, one of these, and it'll, it'll, it'll slate your thirst. Nothing great, no well beater, it's just a nice, pleasant, tidy beer. Yeah, it's good, it's good. So, Wild Horse Brew & Co's Buckskin Lager, 4.5%. Do I like it? Yes. Would I buy it again? <coughs> Probably not because lagers aren't my thing. Would I recommend it to friends? Yes. Um, if you've had this, let me know what you think. Please put a little comment in the comments box below. I will put a link to the Wild Horse uh, website also below. Uh, give me a thumbs up on the video. Give me a thumbs down if you don't subscribe down there. I um, thank you if you have subscribed to me in the last couple of days. I do appreciate it. If you do know somebody who would like to watch this buffoon, do this type of stuff, get them onto the channel, get them to subscribe. I will see you on the next one. Stay alert, stay safe. Hello.